Hi everyone and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Request and Devotions. I hope everybody's doing great today. On our prayer request, Vicki's family would like an unspoken request. Pablo passed away October 17th. Pray for his family uh, for peace and comfort. And uh, continue to pray for Danielle. Her husband Michael passed away. Uh, Jackie had some blood work done. Pray that it comes back with good results. My sister's uh, Vicky's surgery went well. The total knee replacement and pray for a quick recovery. Uh, pray that Aurelis is able to have a first Thanksgiving dinner with all of her kids and her two grandkids. That'd be nice to get. We'd love it if our a daughter was able to come for Thanksgiving and, and her husband will. That'd be great if I could, but. There, we're in Tennessee and they're in Ohio. So, anyway, our scripture today comes from Jonah 2, 1 through 10. Um, from inside the fish, Jonah prayed to the Lord his God. He said, In my distress I called to the Lord, and he answered me. From deep in the realm of the dead I called for help, and you listened to my cry. You hurled me into the depths, into the very heart of the seas, and the currents swirled about me. All your waves and breakers swept over me. I said, I have been, I have been banished from your sight, yet I will look again towards your holy temple. The engulfing waters threatened me, the deep surrounded me. Seaweed was wrapped around my head. To the roots of the mountains I sank down. The earth beneath barred me in forever. But you, Lord my God, brought my life up from the pit. When my life was ebbing away, I remembered you, Lord, and my prayer rose to you, to your holy temple. Those who cling to worthless idols turn away from God's love for them. But I, with shouts of grateful praise, will sacrifice to you what I have vowed to I will make good. I will say salvation comes from the Lord, and the Lord commanded the fish, and it vomited Jonas Jonah onto dry land. Wow, just... <laughs> okay. Our, uh, script, or our devotion today is entitled Running from God. Julie and Liz kayaked off the coast of California scouting for humpback whales. Humpbacks are known for being active near the surface making them easy to spot. The two women got the surprise of their lives when one surfaced directly underneath them. An onlooker caught footage of their encounter that showed the large mouth of the whale dwarfing the women and their kayaks. After briefly going underwater, the women escaped unharmed. Their experience offers perspective on the biblical account of the prophet Jonah being swallowed by a huge fish. God had instructed him to preach to the Ninevites, but because they'd rejected God, Jonah didn't feel they were worthy of his forgiveness. Instead of obeying, he ran away and took passage on a ship. God sent a dangerous storm, and he was thrown overboard. God provided a way to preserve Jonah from certain death on the high seas, sparing him the far worse consequences of his actions. Jonah called to the Lord, and God listened. After Jonah admitted his wrongdoing and expressed his praise and acknowledgement of God's goodness, he was, at his command, expelled from the fish onto dry land. By God's grace, when we, are, when we acknowledge our sin and express faith in Jesus' sacrifice, we're spared the spiritual death we deserve and experience new life through Him. What, when have you run away from God? How have you experienced new life through Jesus? Dear God, I acknowledge my sin and thank you for providing me for me a new life through Jesus. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. And Lord's in my pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great morning. And I'd love to see you later on a morning coffee break. Bye, everyone, and God bless.